sun is finally out today. Went for a little walk this morning, sat by the pool, not like swim pool. Well, it is a swim pool, but it's not that warm, unfortunately. But we sat by the pool in the sun. We're gonna do a little, I don't know what you call it, sightseeing. We're gonna go down to like the main student drag here, Mill Street, grab some coffee. I kind of want to find like an ASU something, like ideally like an ASU like golf towel or something would be really cool. So we're gonna go have a little look-see down there. And then we got a round booked. We're gonna play at Arizona Grand. I just found it on Golf Now. We actually drove through it though to get to our hike the other day and it looked really pure. The only con was that they didn't have a range, but the price for the round was a smoking deal. So it was worth it to me. I uh, sacrificed not being able to hit off a grass range again, but I'm excited. I'm excited to, uh, to play and see what we can shoot. Swing's feeling good after the swing change. Kind of, I mean, there's been a ton of swing changes, so it's feeling good. But I also did have a period at the range yesterday where I hit the hosel. I'm not exaggerating, seven times in a row. Like, I thought I lost the ability to hit a golf ball. So, you know, we're kind of, we're flirting between really good and, like, really not. But we dialed it in at the end, and I'm excited to kind of flow through some swings today. So, yeah, let's go. I don't know if these are wherever you guys live, but these are, like, completely self-driving cars. They're like Ubers. There's people in the back but nobody in the front two seats. It's just driving itself. And on the drive here, which has been five minutes, we've seen three of them. Like they're everywhere, Waymo. You got these spinning things on the top. It's very interesting. The future is now, huh? Yeah, but then if this person is on their phone, can they honk at that person for the green light? I don't know if it's other people. Yeah, there's two green lights up here and we're just not moving, but. There's people up there. By the way, I posted this on my Instagram story, but I mean, I know I'm sponsored by him, but this is undeniably the freshest outfit ever. Hey, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look. You see that reflection? Man, and this polo underneath? <laughs> Buy. Look how fresh that thing is. Watch right into the clubhouse. That is clean. That's clean. Clean. We're playing nine here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film up by the green and then be paired with a random threesome. So. I'll get the two shots and probably the approach shots, but I'll just have to update you after every hole of how we're doing. But swing change is the focus today. So score, not as much. I'm really gonna try to feel the swing change. The funny thing with doing a swing change like this though, is that every swing, I wanna have that like really exaggerated rehearsal because I really wanna like feel what I'm trying to feel, which is like kind of the looser arms reaching back further, the hips turning more, kind of hands coming through. So. I'm gonna have this like really dramatic, exaggerated rehearsal before every swing, but it's part of the game. Don't be embarrassed, you know? Well, this is a very interesting golf course. It's, uh, I guess resorts are, you know, not always. Uh, it's a little, uh, you know, go tracky, but 320 yard par four chip butt off. Yep. Fucking do 
Six iron up the middle here. So far, the first two holes have been all blind shots, so I'm trusting these guys, but hit that one well. Should have like a small wedge in. But he hit it way better than me. Way better than you. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be really good, I think. Thank you. There's two ways to whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's trying to read. There's two ways to play golf courses where you don't know, especially when there's blind areas. One is to keep the ball in front of you and play smart. Two is just to absolutely send it over potential gaps. And that's what we're going with today. We're working fully on swing change. Like I really am trying in my head to not care about score. So we're just absolutely getting the aggressive lines and pumping it and just gonna have some fun with it because at the end of the day all i care about is, is feeling the swing so i think we uh I think we took an aggressive this line in one though there. i think that's his okay. and then i should be over <laughs> this is very, very tight piece, so. Throw them into our shifted area. <laughs> it took us into a parking lot. Come on. There we go. This course is so stupid. It literally is like so many blind shots and then like lay up to blind shots and like you're, there's a hill in the middle of the golf course. This is a very weird golf course, but whatever. We're hitting the ball well. I can't believe I got that up in time. Yep. Man. Hang on. This little chair's going. <laughs> Take that. She's a beaut Clark! She's a beaut Clark! <laughs> okay, Nate asked for some commentary. Hi, I'm Marie, Nate's wife, and I'm, I'm just here, but it's freezing in Arizona. So I'm bundled as much as I can be. <sighs> um, he's on the green. If anyone lives on a golf course, you've got to let us know if you enjoy it because the amount of times that someone we're golfing with has jumped into someone's backyard because of their ball went in there, it's kind of nuts. Um, I, I would hate it, I think. It's like no personal space here. 
I need personal space. And also, if you play golf, do you even like golf? This is so long, and we're only in hole eight. I've been here for like three hours. Whenever I come on these ride-alongs with me, I just bring my book. But now I'm too cold to read. Well, it's time for Nate's shot. Can I spin around? Oh. There we go. Oh, oops. Oh. Oopsie. All along. Nick's a little disappointed, maybe. No. Does anyone else... <laughs> As someone who doesn't watch golf, or only watches golf as someone who doesn't know what's going on, I'll listen to the commentators sometimes, and they're savage. They're like, ooh, terrible shot. Yeah, I really unlike him. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just, it's quite savage. Um, but, I mean, I enjoy it. I'm here for it to be rude. Here he is up again. Oh, rock. Totally robbed. That's that's just in. Oh, that was pretty smooth. I really wanted that last birdie. The uh, greens here were very undulating and we're still adjusting for speed, but went pretty well. I was very happy with the, uh, the ball striking off the tee. I've found since I've introduced the swing change, my wedge swing is actually the part that's kind of hurting the most. My long irons, mid irons, and especially driver feel way better. I'm generating more power, but I feel like I'm just having trouble getting that like the same contact on my wedges. So my wedge swing, I feel like benefited from not moving too much before, whereas now I'm, I'm definitely moving more, so I'm having to kind of find it again with all the walk. How do you get back to the clubhouse? But overall, finish three over par not at all mad about that. This course was an absolute, um, not my favorite course in the world. But apparently that's resort golf. So that's, that's kind of my own me, I guess, but it was a great deal if I wanted to come out. But may I get one more round in tomorrow before we leave, or I might just head to like a grass range. But anyway, we're gonna go get into it now. Bye.